We're at the IS in Amsterdam, and we're here with Dezan, who we just finished a rally, a protest, an active moment in the, the in the conference. Uh, seems we always have something to be angry about, but I'll tell you, this is this is surreal, that we would have a conference, uh, an IS meeting mm -hmm. in the United States at this moment in mm -hmm. time. Yes. We had one of the your colleagues that said. We want you to come, but not now. Exactly. This is at a time when we can be proud of our country. So tell us more about how this got started. I mean, it's, sure. it's not hard to imagine, but tell us the reality. Well, you know, what's really interesting is in terms of how this got started, and I don't really know because I think there's probably Crops sort well. of this organic convergence mm -hmm. of voices who are thinking the same thing mm -hmm. for a lot of different or in a lot of different ways or for a lot of different reasons thinking that now is not the time there are a lot of different reasons that people have been expressing about why this isn't the time to bring the international aids conference mm -hmm. to the united states some are very keyed in on what will be happening at that time which is probably one of one of the most important elections one of the most important mm -hmm. general elections of our uh, in, in this current century at least, but certainly in my lifetime, I think, um, with regard to um, the opportunity to undo the regression that has happened in the last, uh, with this current uh, administration and this current term of the administration. But I also think back um, on 2012, right, and how proud we actually were mm -hmm. to bring the International AIDS right, Conference right, to right. Washington, D.C. even, moment, right. as much as we were still still protesting the fact that sex workers right, and right, right. Um, people who inject drugs weren't allowed in, that there were still some issues around uh, how we're managing housing and homelessness and dealing with substance use and the intersectionality mm -hmm. of HIV issues in but the there United was hope. States. There was, hope. there was hope because we actually had uh, an administration mm -hmm. that was listening and that was open to a lot of the things, if not all. Mm -hmm. um, but, but nonetheless, we were proud to say, we have our first mm -hmm. opportunity to show the progress mm -hmm. of the United States with this particular president, but also where we are in the epidemic. This is not the time not only to come to the U.S., but in my own opinion, it's not the time to even go where San Francisco will overshadow Oakland no matter what you do as you look mm -hmm. at it from a tale of two cities or even from a Bay Area perspective. It's not the time to go into a city that is ready to celebrate the so-called end of their epidemic when almost virtually everywhere else is struggling just to catch up, mm -hmm. still dressing, addressing uh, in some populations, still growing epidemic. Mm -hmm. I'm from the deep south, I live in Georgia. We have a raging epidemic, especially among young black, gay, and bisexual men. It's not the time to send a message mm -hmm. out that this epidemic is almost over if my people's epidemic isn't mm -hmm. over. It's like but the, not the only aircraft that. carrier with mission accomplished. You exactly. Know, we're not there yet. It'll be too yeah. soon. And even if it's not the main message, it'll be the only message that those who mm -hmm. are already in opposition to funding HIV, to mm -hmm. continuing to give space to the HIV um, epidemic issues, are ready to hear somebody say, okay, you can let it go now. Mm -hmm. And But I, I think for me, the, the biggest issue is that there's everything wrong about where our government currently is sitting on almost all issues of human right. rights across the, in the, wrong across the board. On everything. on everything, whether it's around immigration, whether it's already around mm -hmm. uh, immigration bans on yes. people from certain named countries, Muslim countries in particular, the fact that there's not only now a current Mexico City rule that impacts outside the United States, women's access to sexual and reproductive health, including HIV services where reproductive health services and family planning might be happening, but the idea that the global gag rule is about to be domesticated mm -hmm. and that there's on the table, potentially signing soon, um, an executive order that brings that same restriction to the United States. And I don't think the HIV community has dealt with the fact that if that happens in the U.S., for women and girls in particular, there will be no access to HIV services because mm -hmm. where we go where for those services mm -hmm. is where those rules will impact. And I think the, the other thing is, is uh, uh, the, just the idea of the divide. It, it might look like you're trying to do a joint thing with the Bay Area, with uh, San Francisco and Oakland, but I sit in the South where we came through the last parts of the Jim Crow era, mm -hmm. and there's just something about that that doesn't sit right, period. Just mm -hmm. that idea that we already have a leader in the country who is hell-bent on division, 
And this is just another example of how that division could play out. And for any of us who believe in human rights, who believe in inclusion, who believe in a United States of America, cannot support something that's going to continue to, even the optics of a division is just not acceptable. It's and just this, not no acceptable. There's no subtlety to it. It's no subtlety. No. It's, it's right out there. It's on the tweets. It's on the, mm -hmm. the work that's being done. It's, you know, what he's doing. It's exactly. not just what he's saying exactly. is bad enough. Exactly. But they're actually doing this. It's, uh, it's functionally or dysfunctional, I think, at this point. Yeah, it's just, it's still time to, there is still time to look where we can go. And, mm -hmm. and I'm with some of my um, fellow, my comrades, my fellow activists in saying that this is not about the IAS. I'm an active member of the International Aid Society, and I totally appreciate being a member and what we are able to accomplish together when we come together mm -hmm. for these meetings. I look forward to them. I actually, you know, we, my organization, Sister Love, began working with other folks and formed Women Now, which is currently the only pre-conference to the International AIDS Conference that hones in on the impact of mm -hmm. HIV at the intersection of sexual and reproductive health and rights, particularly for women of African descent worldwide. And I can't see working that hard to bring all of these women together, which is already very difficult because, you know, we start mm -hmm. behind the eight ball with the funding. We don't compete for the big, the, the, uh, the bigger pre-conference dollars, dollars yeah. the class <laughs> A dollars, that's a good way to put it. And it's already difficult and to come into an expensive United States and to go into one of the most expensive cities in the United mm -hmm. States is not just cost prohibitive, but it is personally prohibitive for so many of the women that we work with. And I just think that women now shouldn't be following the IAS if it goes into, we will follow another, if it goes into San Francisco or the Bay Area, we will follow another global gathering that has relevance to women mm -hmm. who are impacted by HIV and AIDS and sexual and reproductive health. We will follow that meeting mm -hmm. and we will attach ourselves to something that has much more inclusive meaning for what our meeting is about as well. It's, it's just that simple. It's not time. Yeah. Everyone is welcome to the U.S. When we are proud to have you come to our house. Exactly. Your message is right on point. I mean, it's just, and the, the, the words out there spoken by many uh, who were holding the me megaphone, you didn't need it, by the way, uh, is, is profound. It's profound. And we appreciate the work you're doing. And I, 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 it's sad that we have to do this, yeah. but we yeah. have to yeah. because it's right. It's yeah. what's right. And I mean, and it's not as if we're calling for the change because we think it's a simple thing that the IS right. just takes this, you know, willy-nilly decision, just this arbitrary thing to choose where it goes. You have a lot of points. There are a lot of things that drive the decision, mm -hmm. and I respect that, but sometimes that decision itself, the weight of what dro drove that decision has to be recal recalibrated. It just has to be recalibrated. Right. Well, I hope there'll, there'll be a moment where we can all get together and cooler heads will prevail and they'll make a change. Absolutely. I hope, and I, I will work with you on that. Whatever we can do, and we're here doing the message and yeah. hopefully it'll get out and one more push. Get right it direction. done, get Thank it you. done. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Fred. Thanks yeah. again for having me.